Uh, the reading is uh, very short. It's on um, the back of the, the sheets that you were given. And uh, I shall just read those and then uh, pray. And then we'll have a look at what it all means for us. It's from Matthew chapter 13 and verse verses 45 and 46. And Jesus is teaching about what the kingdom of God, what heaven is going to be like or is like. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away, sold everything he had, and bought it. Heavenly Father, we just ask now as we have these few minutes, just looking at what you want us to see from this precious little story, this parable. Please may your spirit open our eyes and our hearts to see and to know and want to follow Jesus. This we ask in his name. Amen. Well, it's a very short story, isn't it? And a parable that uh, Jesus teaches us here. He tells of a story of a man who bought and sold pearls. That's what he did for his life. He bought and sold. And presumably, when he sold, he wanted to make a little bit of money so he can buy some more. And uh, that's how he made his living. And one day as he was looking, he came across the most valuable pearl that he had ever, ever seen. It must have been an extraordinary moment for him. He had seen hundreds of pearls, but he saw this one and he knew it was very special. And the only way that he could afford it, as he looked at it, he thought, this is worth so much. The only way that he could afford it would he would have to sell everything he had, all the pearls he had, everything he had, in order to buy that one pearl. And that's what he did, which is an extraordinary thing to do, isn't it? He sold all the pearls he had, all his collection, sold them all. He sold his brand new Rolls Royce. Well, the passage doesn't tell us that, but just he sells everything, we're told. He sold his latest huge, you know, 60-inch television. He sold a three-piece suite he had just got. But even then, he didn't have enough to get this pearl, which he knew he needed to have because it was of such value. So the house had to go. It's what we were looking at just uh, a few moments ago. The house had to go. All the contents, everything in it, it all had to go. All his favorite shirts, his favorite watch, his favorite cuddly toy, his favorite pen, it all had to go. And once he had sold all these things, everything was sold, he had enough, just enough to go down to the shop and buy that pearl. Well, the message you see from this story is that it is that good. It is that good to, to sell everything that you have. It is that good to have Jesus as your king. That's what he's telling us. So my question for us is, what is so fantastic about having Jesus as king. This man in the story is telling us that actually we may have lots and lots of things, but to know Jesus is the very best and the most important and it's worth more than everything else. So what is so fantastic about having Jesus as our king? Well, here's one thing. He is the king who loves us enough. Now, there will be lots of love here in families, friendships, lots of love, and we really value it. But here's the thing here. He is the king, Jesus is the king who loves us enough to die for us. Now, that is extraordinary, isn't it? What sort of king would have such love for you and me that he would be prepared to die 
for you. You see, Jesus is the king who looks on us and sees us as absolutely helpless without God. We may have lots of things, but we're helpless without God. Yeah, you see, Jesus is the king. He is the king of the world. We could spend some time on that. We won't just take it. Here is the king over all the world. But what does he do? Well, he knows, you see, Jesus looks down and he knows that left to ourselves, if we were just left to ourselves, we would try to be happy we would try to have things, lots of friends, lots of things, lots of money. That's what we would do to be happy. And he knows that that precious pearl is for us to know him. For you and me to know him. That's the precious pearl. And it's more, it's worth more than everything else put together. So you see, Jesus is the king, and he knows that's what that's our where we're at, our situation. And what did he do? He took that crown off and put a different crown on. He put a crown of thorns on. That's what he did for you and I. He came. And he died for us. How fantastic to be in Jesus' kingdom where the king loves us so much that he will die for us. That is very, very precious, isn't it? When we see that and know it, very precious. The second thing is, he is the king who loves us enough to look after us now. Now, that's amazing, isn't it? There are lots of things going on for us right now, aren't there? Life is, there are lots of difficulties, hardships. It's difficult. Can there really be someone who will really look after us, really be for us at every moment? In the sort of things of life, we will go to the garage, don't we, when the car isn't working. That's where we'll get that fixed. We go to the hospital when we're not well. We go to the teacher when we don't understand our homework. But the precious pearl is for us to know him and to trust him with every situation now. See, I trust the garage man with our car, but I don't think I trust him with other things. We can trust Jesus for everything. That's the precious pearl he wants us to know. Here's a story. Just imagine the story. Just go into, the, go into this story. There's a story of a father who was training his young son on how he can grow into adulthood. After he had learned many skills, his father had been really patient, shown him lots of different things. He had one final test for his son. He was placed in a dense forest to spend the entire night all alone. He had to fend for himself, and he had never spent any time away from his family at all. He had always been with his family, but this was the test the father had given him. He was blindfolded and taken several miles away, and when he took off the blindfold, he was in the middle of this thick wood in complete darkness. He was terrified. Wouldn't you? I would be terrified. Every time a twig snapped, he imagined it was a wild animal ready to pounce. And after what seemed like forever, dawn broke, the first rays of sunlight entered into the, into the forest. And then to his utter amazement, he saw a figure of a man standing only a few feet away from him with a bow and arrow. He was keeping him safe. And who was that person? But his father. His father was there to protect him. He had been there all night long. How fantastic for us to know that to be in Jesus' kingdom where he is king and will look after us every moment of the day. Now that's a precious pearl to have, isn't it? And Jesus says he can do that. 
And the last thing is this. He is the king who will welcome us into heaven. You see, that is such a precious pearl because we can never do it for ourselves, but he will do it for us. He is the king who will welcome us into heaven. There are many wonderful things that we can do in this life, aren't there? There are things that we could plan to do. We can choose to live here. If you're on holiday here this week, I hope you have a fantastic week and you enjoy the beauty of the island. And if we live here, there's much beauty here, isn't there, to enjoy. And we can choose to live here. Or we can go on holiday to beautiful places. We can have wonderful friends. But the precious pearl is for us to know him and to trust Jesus with our future. You see, that's something we can't get for ourselves. It's something we're given. And it's worth more than everything else put together. It's half term, isn't it, now? And maybe for a special treat, mum and dad will take us to McDonald's or Robin Hill or the cinema, different things. We may go and have a wonderful treat, and that will be absolutely terrific. But the amazing thing for the Christian is we can say, I am going to heaven, and God himself will welcome me in. Now, that really is precious, isn't it? I could go to the cinema, I could go to McDonald's, but to say with confidence... God will welcome me into his heaven forever. Now, that's really precious. Really precious. Knowing that when we die, it's not the end. For those who know Jesus, we have this most precious of pearls. He will welcome us home to himself. The message, you see, of this parable is that having Jesus as our king is like selling, getting rid of everything else that we may think is going to help us in this life and saying, I trust Jesus. This king Jesus can do all the things that I could never do for myself. He can forgive my sin. He can look after me now. And he can bring me home to heaven. Now that is amazing, isn't it? And that's why in this story, it's the most precious pearl to have. Even to sell all the other ones as the merchant did, as that buyer and seller of pearls did. He had rid of everything else to have this one, to have Jesus. It's really precious. Well, I thought we would have now just an opportunity as we think on that to actually have a prayer of confession around that. It may be we've never really thought about it and we thought, this is something I really need to have. Well, this confession will do that. We need to say sorry to God that I haven't lived this way and I want to live this way. It may be we've been a Christian for years, but we haven't trusted Jesus at every moment. Or we've just not trusted him for our future. Well, that's a, it's a good opportunity to say sorry for that and give ourselves to him afresh. So if we can have the confession up and we'll say this together. Almighty God, you have shown us the most precious pearl that brings eternal life. We are sorry when we have not lived trusting your promises, but followed our own ways. We have not loved you with our whole heart, soul, or mind. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. Please forgive us, and from this day on, by your Holy Spirit, help us to live trusting Jesus as the one who forgives those who truly repent, cares for those who look, look to him, and will bring his people to heaven. Amen.